Hi Taurus, it is the Sun Sage and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another April reading. So this reading is going to focus on your love life, what happened in the recent past, what's going on in the near future and what's going on in the present. So this will be for those of you who are Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising and those of you who are cross watchers connected to Taurus. All right. So let's see what we have for you, Taurus. Keep in mind, these are general messages that may not resonate for everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if you would like a personal reading um, to tap more into your soul energy and your situation, check out the details in the description box. All right. So what do we have for Taurus in the recent past for their love life? What do we have for Taurus, recent past, their love life? Thank you so much. I have regret in the reverse. All right, so that's a good sign. What do we have for the present in their love life? We have flirt in the reverse, okay? What else do we have for Taurus in the near future? Thank you. We have differences, okay? So your person you're dealing with is very difficult, all right? Or you will be dealing with someone very soon who is very difficult. Self-love is here as an empress energy. Um, I feel like the message is coming through that it's very important for you to continue to find ways to water yourself and to take care of yourself, even though you feel like you're dealing with somebody who may be emotionally draining, right? Um, remember, you can't give anything to this person if you've depleted yourself, so it is important. I feel a very important message coming through with self-love that don't let this person or this relationship completely take you out here, right? This is something that you want to manage. And I feel like you guys are capable of it. You are earth energy. You are very mature, very capable here. So let's go ahead and get into it. You have regret in the reverse, all right? So um, I feel like you or the person you're dealing with has issues right now, right? I do feel like they are starting to um, this feels like your person. Um, I feel like they are starting to have more confidence in the decisions that they've made um, in the past. They have more confidence about the direction um, they're moving forward with you. But this is someone who could still struggle with at times feeling like um, this emotional heaviness from some things they did in the past. Um, the past could constantly be haunting this person. So regret in the reverse does feel like this. Yeah, six of cups and the seven of wands confirming that past energy that it feels like you're dealing with somebody who's constantly fighting the demons of their past right whether this is a marriage that they went through whether this is a ex a relationship an ex um some sort of trauma that they suffered in any type of relationship from the past with someone that they trusted so i feel like this person is constantly defensive um because it does feel like while they are starting to trust themselves a little more and they are starting to understand why they made some of the decisions that they made it's still very difficult for them to at times accept that you know this is how things played out they could feel really bad about something here they could feel really frustrated occasionally and so you're constantly having to help this person through these really intense moments with the ten of swords here at the bottom of the deck there's something about endings there's something about the past that your person keeps going back to they have a very hard time letting go and so i feel like this could be you taurus um i mean i feel like this is um I, I mainly feel like this is your person. This could be you or the Taurus um, you're connected to if you're a cross watcher. But I do feel like you've been trying to help this person through this. And sometimes they pushed you away, um, not wanting help on this here. Um, the chariot, they do feel like they want to move forward with you. There's something that happened in the past that led them to you, a decision that they made. Yep. Two of swords at the bottom of the deck, a decision that they made that led them to you. They don't regret that, right? Um, could be a cancer here. They don't regret um, the decision that led them to you. I do feel like they believe that you guys are meant to be here. Um, I do feel like this person is pursuing a future with you. So in the recent past, I feel like, yeah, the moon, they were starting to release some of this pain, some of this anger they were experiencing because they know that the only way that they can move forward with you is to let go of some of these things from the past. So Pisces energy here, also someone very emotionally overwhelmed, someone who is trying to release that past energy and I feel like you guys, again, have been helping them through, but they don't want your help, right? The Knight of Pentacles says that this person does want to trek this journey, this emotional journey alone. They don't want to stain you with it. They don't want you to feel like it's your fault. So I feel like this is a responsible energy of them not wanting you to feel responsible for what they're dealing with. But I do see where it's gotten really difficult for you to try to understand this person, right? Because one minute it feels like they're up with the chariot energy. The next minute it feels like they're 
partner down. I feel like a lot of you are connected to a soulmate, so you feel this inherent obligation to help them through this. But this does feel like a struggle they have to weather on their own, mainly because it's about their decisions that they made that they have to come to terms with. Um, so flirt in the reverse for your present energy. Look, if you were dealing with somebody in the recent past who's difficult and it's very hard to connect to this person emotionally, it's showing up in your present, right? For flirt in the reverse. Um, you may not have had that great, that great of communication with this person recently. Um, there could be some energy that the passion feels like it's gone here. Um, the playfulness that you guys have, the chemistry could feel like it's lacking right now. So flirt in the reverse. Yeah. Queen of wands. It feels like, you know, um, some, <laughs> I feel I pick up an energy of somebody like, um, dressing sexier or wearing certain fragrances. I'm specifically getting a vanilla or a musk. Your person loves that. Um, and I feel like you're trying to do things to ramp up the excitement and the passion in the relationship again, um, just because it feels like some time was lost. Yeah, this is you, <laughs> Empress, at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like you guys may be like doing things around the home doing things when you go around this person to heighten their arousal and senses towards you. It feels like you're trying to pull this person out of a bad mood. What do we have for Taurus? We have the seven of swords. Okay. Yeah. Cause they're really difficult. Um, and you could f have somebody who feels like even that's not working, right? They're not allowing themselves to be seduced. Instead, they're running away from their problems. Um, some of you may be in separation from this person, um, right now, because this is your present. Yeah. Page of swords here confirming that you may be, um, separated. And so you, you are longing for them to come back. You could be, um, you know, trying to find ways to see what's going on with them social media wise or asking friends about them. I feel like you're very inquisitive about this person, mainly because they're not telling you much. Um, yeah, you guys do have this strong emotional obligation or feel like you have this strong emotional obligation to be there for them. Queen of Cups, you're a great listener. This person knows that you're a wonderful comforter and wonderful nurturer. Um, but again, I feel like you have somebody who's constantly pulling away, no matter how many efforts you make to try to, you know, tame things or calm things down with them. It feels like they're always finding something to be irritated about, or they're going through something that's very irritating. Um, there could also be a child involved here, right? Um, your person could be dealing with a co a co-parenting situation that may not be working out. Um, and so if it's, they're finding it very hard to be romantic and present for you because they're dealing with drama from like a past situation, um, that still presently has a child or children involved. What is this page of swords? It's the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is why you're not getting that love. This person is feeling emotionally overwhelmed already as it is. They're not feeling like being romantic. They, it, I, I feel like you are pulling out all the stops. You're wearing the sexy things. You're, you're being very attentive to this person. I feel like you are, you know, putting on their favorite fragrance, cooking their favorite foods, but it doesn't feel like it, it's working, does it? And, and that's because they're a King of Cups in reverse. They're not very receptive right now. They're actually very irritated it with some circumstances in their life that may not have anything to do with you. However, it does feel like it's something that's impacting you in this relationship. Scorpio is here. Why is this King of Cups in the reverse? It's the Knight of Cups. They do really care for you, but I do feel like they're kind of like giving you like almost bare minimum or giving you a fraction of what they could be giving you because they're dealing with some other things in their life right now. The seven of pentacles is this person is going through a transition. They are um, having a rough time with it, but they are determined to get through this. And so right now they could just want some space. I don't feel like they're saying that though. I don't feel like they're communicating much at all. They could be saying things like, I'm fine. What are you worried about? Nothing's wrong with us, you know, just in denial right? We did have the seven of swords here. So they could be just in denial about things right now, um, not accepting um, the fact that it's okay to go through, you know, some sort of transformation as long as it doesn't spill over into you trying to build a new relationship. So Taurus, that's a conversation you may have to have you, with your person, but I do feel like they care about you. I just feel like what they could be giving you, um, you know, 
they're not giving you. The Knight of Cups is saying that there is some some sense of affection and love here, but the King of Cups in reverse is, you know, kind of like a someone who is emotionally immature and not really capable of hanging on to a relationship right now or building one with you. So differences, right? So in the near future, there may be some decisions that I feel like you uh, feel like you have to make, right? Especially if things continue as they are, you may find it very hard to stay with them. You may find it very hard to deal with them. If you feel like you're neglected by this person or like this person is not meeting your needs here and they don't plan to or don't show any signs of doing that soon, I feel like a lot of you are actually going to become very resentful of this person and actually want to move away from them um, and distance yourself because it feels like they're going through something that you're not involved in. Yep, Eight of Cups in reverse and it's making you unhappy now and it feels like they they don't have control over the situation and they're actually allowing this situation to control them which again is impacting your relationship with them so the five of pentacles is you don't know how much longer you can feel displaced by this person right you don't know how much longer you're going to be able to do with this you've been avoiding walking away from them and leaving them you don't want them to feel alone you don't want to move away from this connection but i do feel like there are there there are some decisions, King of Wands here that you may make that show you that um, if this person isn't going to change their, their behavior, this means this is something that um, I feel like you could see them as unhealthy or toxic for you. And the devil in the reverse is the only way you'll stay with them if it feels like they're releasing some of this toxicity. But the King of Wands here tells me that you guys may actually have to make the decision because this person feels fully engrossed into something that's not emotionally healthy for them. And it, if it feels like they're just not come they're not you're not able to pull them away from it right and um so yes they have to go through this alone but it doesn't feel like you guys are wanting to you know stay in a situation that could be unhealthy until you see signs of this person starting to release some of these habits all right so Taurus, that is what I have for you guys in your love life for April. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.